Now let's solve a problem based on the concept of static limiting and kinetic friction. Here the problem says that there is a block is kept on the rough surface. They have given us value of mu equals to 0.3 and they are asking find the force of friction and acceleration of the block. Here mass of the block is given 10 kg and F value for two cases is given as 15 Newton and 35 Newton separately. Now let's solve the problem. Let's say the first case where F is equals to 15 Newton. Now the block's mass is given as 10 kg, right? So for 10 kg mass, downward mg force will act as approximately 100 Newton. I am taking value of g to be 10 meter per second square. In this case, the normal reaction value n will also be equals to 100 Newton. We should not get confused. This n is normal reaction and this n is Newton, the unit of force. Now here, if I say what will be the value of friction, first let's find mu into n value. Now mu into n is given as mu into n will be 0 0.3 into 100 which will be equals to 30 Newton. Now what is this 30 Newton? 30 Newton is maximum possible friction. This is what is very important here. Maximum possible friction. Now 30 Newton is maximum possible friction means if I keep on increasing my force like let's say 1 Newton, 2 Newton, 3 Newton and so on. If I keep on increasing then friction will also keep on increasing but friction can reach maximum up to 30 Newton. So what does this mean in conceptually? Conceptually it means friction can be anything between 0 to 30. In real actual friction, actual frictional force can be anything between 0 Newton to 30 Newton. This is our real concept. Now we are here applying 15 Newton force, right? So if I apply 15 Newton force, then to prevent the motion, the friction necessary is only 15 Newton. Now we have to check, does this 15 Newton lies within this range? Our range is 0 to 30, right? And yes, 15 lies in between the range. That means friction here will be only 15 Newton and the block will not move. We should remember that here friction will not be 30 Newton. If by mistake we solve it like FR equals to 30, that means if we say here 30 Newton force is applied, then imagine the block will not be in equilibrium. Because towards left there is 30 Newton force, towards right there is 15 Newton force. So net force 15 Newton will be there to the left. And this means the block should move towards left. Practically it is not possible. If there is a block on a surface and we pull it towards right, it won't automatically move towards left. That is not possible at all. Why? Because friction will just balance the external force if it can. Otherwise, it will keep its maximum value there. Right? So here the maximum value is 30, but our applied force is well within 30 Newton, right? So our applied force 15, hence friction will only be 15 and it will balance the force. Remember, friction is self-adjusting. If it can, it will adjust itself. So this concept is also important. Friction is self-adjusting in nature. It will depend on the external force. Okay. Now for the second bit. The second bit says F equals to 35 Newton, right? Now again, according to our previous problem, here again mg is 100 Newton. Then normal reaction upward will again be 100 Newton. So mu into n, which is our value of limiting friction or maximum value of friction will be 30 Newton. So actual possible value of friction will be anything between 0 to 30 Newton, right? 0 Newton to 30 Newton. This is the limit. But our applied force is 35 now. It doesn't lie within the range. So what will happen in this case? In this case, friction will be kinetic in nature. This means 
there will be some friction here and that friction will oppose the motion the relative motion but what will be the value of friction that value of friction will be 30 newton because that is the maximum possible value that can exist and it should be there because the friction's job is to oppose the relative motion so friction will be there and how much now it will achieve its maximum value because it cannot go beyond 30 right even if the applied force is 35 so here our first bit answer frictional force will be 30 newton then comes our second bit acceleration what is our acceleration here acceleration will be net force net force by net mass force is our 35 minus 30 and mass is our 10 kg so this gives us um, 5 by 10 0 0.5 meter per second square this is our acceleration's value in the previous problem the block was not moving so acceleration was zero in this problem the acceleration is 0 0.5 